Hello everyone, in this video let us take a look at uh, Jira Service Desk uh, configurations. So if uh, you are just uh, starting to use uh, Jira Service Desk, it is important to basically do some uh, initial configurations and uh, for doing those initial configurations you need to go to your uh, Jira administration on top uh, right corner and uh, there is an option called uh, applications the very first option when you select it you will be taken to this uh, interface where you can uh, configure your Jira service desk so if you click on the configuration option you will be taken to this uh, page here and we do have few things here that I think we need to understand how it works the first option is uh, about uh, help center and uh, this is something that uh, we did in the last video we spent some time uh, uh, going through uh, how we can customize not only the uh, customer portal uh, for a particular project but also the help center and you have the permission here can agents add announcements to the help center yes or no so this is something that you can uh, control the option to enable public sign up is uh, also enabled here so you can see here that we have two options uh, yes or no when you select yes it says uh, yes uh, so first of all uh, the configuration is all about uh, can project administrators enable public sign up for their service desk so it is basically uh, all about enabling the project administrators giving them the authority to uh, have this public sign up option enabled for their project or not so we have options here yes project administrators can allow anyone to email to uh, the service desk or raise a request in the portal and the second option is uh, no customers must be added in the project or have an account on this Jira site to raise a uh, request and if you have public sign up enabled um, again you have the option to have uh, email verification so is email ver verification required for sign up yes customers should verify their email address or no so if you go to the project uh, settings uh, we have the option there to have this public sign up uh, option uh, if of course uh, the authority is given here uh in the jira service desk uh, configuration so let me just go back to the jira service desk configuration and uh, if i set this option to yes and uh, this is now enabled i believe and if i go back to my um, project uh, settings and if i do a refresh let us see if we have anything new here so we uh, can probably click on uh, the uh the option here called uh, let me first take a look at uh, portal settings let us see we have something here uh, not here but uh, we might need to go to uh, the customers so if you click on the customers um, you can see here that uh, everyone with an account on this uh, Jira instance is a customer and uh, you um, I mean this is probably not the uh, the option that I was looking for so anyone who has account on uh, on on Jira it, they, they can actually raise a ticket in this particular project but the option that I want to show you is uh, probably hidden in uh, project settings now let me just go through customer permissions uh, okay so here we, we have the option under customer permissions that says who can raise request customers who are added to the project customers who have an account on this uh, Jira site and the third option is uh, anyone can email the service desk or raise a request in the portal now we have the option enabled here but if I go back to my uh, Jira service desk uh, configuration and if I just uh, select uh, no customers must be added to the project or have an account on this Jira site uh, to raise request so this option is now disabled now if I do a refresh of uh, this page uh, we 
have the option here anyone can email but if i try to save it uh you uh have the option here i mean you have a pop-up here uh, to allow anyone to raise a request in your service desk you must enable public sign up at the application level enable public sign up for all service desk in this jira site so i can enable it but it will do the same thing basically it will uh, go back to this uh, uh, configuration and it, it will basically enable this here so if i do this uh, enabling here i mean of course i can do this because i am jira administrator but uh, if you uh, don't have the jira administrator right uh, then you shouldn't be able to do it now if i refresh this page you can see here that the public sign up, sign up is now enabled at the application level so this is something important for you to know that if you want public sign up to be enabled you can do that from here and then in that case people can just come to the portal they can create an account uh, and they can raise request or uh, they can send you an email at at a specific email address that we'll of course discuss later and then their account will be created now if that happens in case uh, the public sign up is enabled whether you want your customers to verify their email addresses that you can uh, set here i think it is a good idea so that you have less spam kind of a kind of le less spam because you want people to verify their email addresses because uh, you don't really want the customers to use uh, f uh, you know just dummy email addresses so these are some configurations that you can do here but of course uh, if you're using jira service desk internally maybe uh, you don't really want to enable public sign up and you want to con you want to control who can raise it raise tickets uh, within jira by adding those customers uh, in your project or maybe by giving them permission so we'll probably spend some time looking at those things uh, in uh, future videos then the next uh, configuration here is uh, organization management so uh, you can add i mean let us see what it says so you can add the same organization to multiple uh, projects if we change organization the change appears in all projects that use the organization so there is a concept of uh, organization and organization is basically important in jira service desk because your customers can be part of your your i mean your customers can be part of different organizations and this is important because uh, uh, if they are part of a specific organization the SLAs can be different and uh, if you're serving maybe uh, different organizations maybe you have different clients maybe you want to have separate organizations configured for those uh, clients and uh, this can be done in Jira service desk now whether you want your agents to uh, manage the organizations you can give them permission here and uh, uh, there is also an option here if a reporter belongs to only one organization so reporter is the customer uh, or it could be a customer uh, who is uh, trying to raise uh, the ticket should requests created via email be shared with it by default now in jira service desk uh, there is an option where uh, uh, when you raise a ticket from the portal or from anywhere if you are part of an organization your ticket can be shared with everyone in that organization so it can be done if it is a requirement for you and uh, whether you want to enable it uh, or not you can uh, select it here so maybe by default you want to keep your uh, request uh, private then there is an option of uh, SLA names uh, and we have I think two SLAs I believe two SLAs uh, service level agreements uh, already defined in Jira service desk by default but you can always create more uh, SLAs and whether you want uh, your project administrators to uh, create those SLAs or not you can actually uh, set the option here so when they create a new SLA it will be added as a custom field so maybe it can be uh, tricky if you don't really want uh, too many custom fields or you already have too many custom fields in your Jira instance so just uh, train your project administrators and uh, um, if you think they are uh, aware of the performance issues and if they know how to use uh, Jira service desk maybe give them permission then there is an option of notification should customers receive Jira notifications uh, 
uh, so there's there are two options no only send jira service test notifications to customers and the other option is uh, send customers both jira service desk and jira notifications so when you install jira service desk uh, it has its own set of uh, notifications uh, and of course in jira you also have notifications so you don't really want uh, two set of emails going to your customers so just keep it no and that is also the recommendation uh, the last option here is uh, permission scheme uh, error now this is something that you can uh, i mean first of all what exactly is the permission scheme error uh, when you're working with jira service test you may encounter uh, jira service test complaining about some permission error and uh, this option should non-critical permission scheme warnings be dismissed automatically for uh, project administrators so yeah you can actually enable it like yes don't show those uh, non-critical permission scheme warnings to uh, project administrators or you can uh, select no always show all non-critical messages and uh, they can then de decide decide whether uh, uh, to fix it or dismiss it so if you're not sure in the beginning just uh, uh, don't change this option and you will of course uh, encounter these issues maybe uh, later on so in this video uh, this is something that i wanted to discuss like some uh, application level uh, jira service desk uh, configurations in the next two video we will uh, continue looking at uh, what else we can do with uh, with jira service desk and uh, the i mean we spent some time uh, looking at request types how to create a new request type in uh, previous videos but we also need to understand a few other things like uh, how to set up uh, customer permissions how to uh, uh, also configure other things like uh, email request customer notifications and so on so in the next video let us focus on um, customer permissions so this is all i wanted to share uh, in this uh, video i hope you enjoyed uh, watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much